sell on the thousand RPM, which you can't possibly achieve. You know? This will do 3,500, but it's starting with stock that's not been machined yet. Once it's been lightened by your machining, the subspinner can go to six. This is a carbide drill, it's just going to open up the hole and go. So it's a 20 mil drill. It's pretty unnerving how quickly it moves mm, into place. Right. It's like everything, you get you get used to it. I mean, mm. one of our lectures, the guy from the last moment, jumps every time there's a tool chain. Mm. And you'll see it's going in diameter as the chuck in goes. The chuck's been put in the mill mode, so it's encoded up. You look on the screen here, and you see X and After you've done that milling? Or like is there a... The burr's all fixed. I could rub the finish cut over it again to take off the burr again. Right. So if, if you really want to get rid of these burrs, I can go and get a... And the next thing's a parting tool. I could go and get um, a little tool and mill the edge for its contact with the burr. And yep. then there's more programming involved. But again, it's going to take... Cutting in here is that as it hits the tooth and misses and hits the tooth, you can hear it. Once it gets past the tooth step, you'll hear it settle down. And then you'll hear it going clunk, clunk, clunk. That's the chips in the groove are not getting out properly because I haven't got a cutting chip that uh, you know, they collapse on themselves to give a, a four mil wide groove. It means they really have the chip collapse to the left so it doesn't get jammed up in that groove as it gets deep and deeper. The next process, this will come over, grip this, grab that, release the chart, drag it out. So it bar feeds as well, which is what is intended by this as well. Um, I could also have this come over and synchronise the two chucks together, so it will part the cool. complete thing off, and then move it back over. While it's moving? Yeah, so okay. this, will, this they'll go, one will be going and another one will sync, so they're only on the same speed, and you can come and grip the chart, and then part it completely off and have to go to the other side. What I've done here is just, um, I think this is my own adaption and everything else, I've got to get a grip this, lock the mains to the subspindle, turn the subspindle and shear the, what's left of the card off off, so just break it off. Oh really? Yeah, and then it'll go back the other way. Yep. Why? Why have you chosen to shear it off? Well, it's because I can't just drop, I need to get access to it, and, and the synchronising I haven't had a chance to play with this. Right. So the air blast just cleans both parts. The pause is just for my own, the couple of second pause. Nice. So the air blast just cleans both parts. Pause is just for my own, the couple of second pause. Nice. And you'll hear it sounds like an aircraft flying over the top. As it does a little light nick on that chamber. So. Oh! <laughs> Alright, I'm Sounds like one of those um, World War II. How many times have you personally run this project?